Hello booktube, how's it going? Today I'm going to be going over my um, TBR for February. Try to put as many books in here that I think I'm going to hit this month. Um, some of them will fall off, others will be added in because that's how things happen. But, um, this will give a good idea. And we have, um, crime, noir, uh, fantasy, literature, some more biographies, um, stuff like that. Like, there's all sorts of fun stuff in here. And one thing, and we'll get to it when I get to it, but, um, there's a couple books that I have in here. Um, and some that were holdovers from the last time. So some of these books I think I actually have read before. Um, and I checked my Goodreads to see if I had put them on there. Um, and I didn't even have them on my want to read. So that either tells me that I read it on one of those times that I wasn't... Um, keep it up on my Goodreads, or um, I just never read it. So um, we have a couple of those in here, and I'll tell you. And if you can remember me doing these books before and, like, doing, like, a review, I checked my YouTube videos to see if I had talked about these vi these books before. And some of them I have and some of them I haven't, but... Um, when I post my wrap-up videos or my TBR videos, I usually don't put all the books in the description or in the tags. So unless I go through and watch all my videos, um, I, I don't know. But if you just happen to have watched one of these recently and said, well, you said you read that, um, yeah, let me know. But anyhow... Um, let's go. So, first off, 1933 was a bad year by John Fonte. Um, there's only one other collection besides this um, that of his that I haven't read. And I don't know if this is a collection or if this is just an actual story. So, we'll see. Next is Kothar Barbarian Swordsman by Gardner F. Fox. Um, I'm going into this one completely blind, and I don't think I've ever read anything from Gardner F. Fox besides some Batman, because um, he used to, um, for a bit, write the Batman comics. And then another Harry Winnington, Brute and Brass, Strange Sisters by Fletcher Flora, Flame Winds by Norvell Page. Now, this is one that I think I might have read, but I, for the life of me, um, I can't remember anything about it. But Norvell Page is the guy who wrote um, the majority of the spider pulps. And this is kind of like a fantasy um, sword and sorcery kind of thing. And I think I have the paperback of this packed up. Um, and I remember talking about it, but I can't remember if I read it or, um, yeah. So, um, I don't know if I have or not. So I'll know once I start reading it. Blonde on the Street Corner by David Goodis. The Evil Friendship by Vin Packer. Whip Hand by Charles Wolford. And it's not by him. It's by um, his pseudonym. I think this is the first book he wrote. Um, and I can't remember what name he wrote it under. Or at least the first book he got published. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Death Trap by John D. MacDonald. And then Blade Number One, Bronze Axe by Jeffrey Lord. Um, I'm very interested in this. Um, it sounds really cool. Like, um, 
I had it explained to me as James Bond meets Conan, um, where Blade is a um, MI6 agent or whatever, and all of his um, cases or whatever, he has to go back in time to like a prehistory to do stuff. Um, I have no idea. Um, other than that about these books. So, um, there's a bunch of them. So if I like it, I'm excited. Um, Savage Bride by Cornell Woolrich or Woolrich. I think it's Woolrich. Um, Not I Said the Vixen by Bill S. Bollinger. Um, and then, oh, I didn't write the author's name down for this next one. It's a horror novel called Fungus about a um, fungus. And I guess it's very much like a body horror thing, like fungus coming out of people and all sorts of nasty shit. So um, I'll either be completely disgusted and not be able to finish it or... Um, It'll be awesome. I have some other books that were from a previous TBR that um, I haven't got to yet. Um, so The Screaming Mimi um, by Frederick Brown. That's the one that um, there was a movie on. And then um, it was the um, inspiration for Dario Argento's Bird with Crystal Plumage. Now, um, if you recall in the video the other TBR video I did, I was talking about this in the sense that when I know we're going to do that movie for the Jalo Chow Chow podcast, I'm going to read that. Um, but it, we don't have a date for it yet, so it's just kind of floating. So if it turns out that like, oh, next week we're going to do that movie, then this book will get pushed up the list. So um, this will be the last I mention of it until I actually read it. Um, the Bobby the Brain Heenan um, autobiography, I think it is. Um, I'm going to give Ori Hit one more chance. Um, I'm going to read an Ori Hit book just to see if um, I've just heard so much praise about his writing and um, he's the author of Nudist Camp and that was just awful for me. Um, so I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and I'm going to try one more book. I don't know which one yet. These Curious Pleasures by Sloan Britton um, got bumped so I'll try that this month. And now... Oh, and also Shoot the Piano Player by David Goodis. I really want to um, read that one as well. So um, I have another book here that I put on the last TBR, and then the more I thought about it, um, I think I read it. So it's Kitten with a Whip by Wade Miller. Um, I remember reading it, but I don't know if I finished it. So... Um, hopefully there's a bookmark in it. If there's a bookmark in it, then, like, a lot of these horrible questions will be figured out. Um, and then River Girl is what I'm reading right now by Charles Williams, and it's really good so far. Um, it's really good. I mean, I'm 80% of the way through it, so, um, I don't know, know what else could happen to make me not like it. Um, but then finally... <clears throat> I'm going to be reading um, Pulp Friction, which is um, basically a history of gay pulp literature. And um, it's by um, Michael Bronsky, I think. Um, this, like, subgenre of a subgenre um, is probably the one I know the least about from a publishing standpoint. And um, I'm just really interested in how it went and how it went from weird, 
like Nazi prison rape books to just like um romance novels basically um but i i just don't know really anything about that genre so um i want to figure it out so i'll be reading that as well so that is a slew of books um we'll see uh what i get to and what i don't um place your bets down below um is there any books on this list that you think I won't get to? Um, and what are they? That's very interesting. Let's see how well you think you know me. Um, but if any of these books you've read, um, let me know down below. Um, if any of these sound cool to you and you want to read them, um, I'm really shit with Buddy Reads because, like, I'll just read it, and then, um, I'm like, okay, I'm done, and the person I'm reading it is like, well, I just read the first chapter, because I thought we were doing just a little bit each day or something, um, so I'm really crap with that, but, um, I don't know, if you guys could, like, show me the way of the force when it comes to Buddy Reads, maybe I will be able to not suck at that. Um, but anyway, so, uh, subscribe, like, comment, and, um, share. Oh, I didn't do share last time. Yes, yes. Share these videos with your friends. Share them. All right, bye.